welcome to my channel. My name is Paige and today I'm going to be sharing with you our entertainment center DIY project. So if you missed the video about painting this entire thing, I'll definitely link it up above. It used to be more of a yellowy, orangey tone wood, which was just not my style at all. It had been that way for like the past four, five years. That's what it was when we moved into this house, but I've always wanted it white or at least just any other color besides the color that it was. Uh, we even thought about just taking it down altogether, but the easiest fix was definitely just painting it, which took a long time. If you watch that vlog, then you know it took me a few days to paint it. As I was painting it, I felt the need, you can kind of see what I'm doing already, that I didn't want to paint the inside of the entertainment center where the TV goes. I didn't want to paint it white. I kind of wanted to do something different um, just to give a little bit of contrast. I love contrasting colors, whites and blacks together, just the light and dark just really just gets me going. Obviously looking at my collage wall with the wainscoting at the bottom, it just shows you how much I love that deep contrast. And we definitely wanted to bring that kind of contrast over here. And I thought it would just be a really cool effect behind the TV if it were to be darker. And we didn't just want to do it darker. I wanted some kind of texture. So we decided to go to Lowe's, favorite place of life. And we picked up some of these, I think they're laminate flooring, vinyl flooring. I'm not really sure. This is what the brand is called. I'm not entirely sure the name of the color. I will try to remember to find it and link it down below if I can find it. It's this sort of neutral toned faux wood and I wanted to go with this because it did have a little bit of that yellowy tone within the grain. So it's going to go perfectly with the flooring so it's not totally different but I definitely wanted something that was more of a gray base. So I thought that was perfect. So before Cody headed out to work, we did get a start on this. We did the back. I just added that last piece over there. And I'm going to attempt in doing this all by myself. I'm pretty good at doing things. So I think that I can do the rest of this. So what we're gonna do, we're just doing the sides and I'm going to paint the top and the bottom white. But what we've been doing is we've been running them straight down and you notice this little bit that's back here that is just going to be a long piece so we're going to have that go all the way around kind of like a nice little finishing touch at the bottom so we didn't want them running all straight that way and we didn't want to go that way um we just wanted to do something really simple that wasn't going to take a lot of time so there's not a lot of cuts involved most of those are just the whole pieces and then the ends there or what are like two and a half inches in width. So that was a little aggravating, I have to admit. This stuff is not great to cut, but um, it's definitely a lot easier to work with than trying to do something else, I would say. But to make sure that it sticks, these do have that self-adhesive on the bottom, but we wanna make sure this doesn't move anywhere. So we got some of this stick and stay and we're just smearing that across the back and then applying the sticky side down, making sure that the errors are of course all going in the same direction. They have errors on the back. So you wanna make sure that it's all going in the same direction. So the wood grain is, you know, it's all working together. But I'm gonna get started on this. We did clean all of this. All of this was vacuumed off and wiped down to dry overnight. So it's all clean. You definitely wanna start with a clean surface, but Cannot wait to see the end result. Hopefully I'll be done with this today. I'm going to attempt in tackling all of this today and finishing it. I cannot wait to see what it looks like. When Tough. 
Okay guys, so just cut that final piece to go right there. So that side is done. Now we're gonna move to this side. It's really easy to do all the pieces until you get to the one that you need to cut. And we figured that we would cut this one over here cause it can kind of, this little lip can hide that raw edge from where we cut it. And also the parts that we cut or what is butting up to the side there so that everything has a clean edge to lay next to when we're putting it down. But so far, loving, loving this color choice that we went with. Praise the Lord. <laughs> got the last piece over there. Those are really the most aggravating pieces because you gotta cut them. This stuff is sort of aggravating to cut, but I have like a method down that I'm doing. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure, you know, you professionals out there are probably laughing at my spoon. You're probably gonna laugh when I show you how I've been cutting them. Get away, little girl. You can't eat those. Our box blade thing isn't sharp enough to cut them and it's a little bit aggravating cutting that long trying to get a straight line. So what I've been doing is I've measured what I needed and then I've marked it with the Sharpie and then I'll take this blade here and I'll just run a straight line so I kind of have an idea of where to cut and I've been cutting with these scissors. <laughs> but this is what works for me. Now my hand is killing me because it is definitely a job because those are not the most sharp scissors in the world but it's definitely getting the job done because earlier I was really struggling with just the knife trying to get that straight line. So I'm a little bit, I cut a little bit better with the scissors. So now I'm going to work on the bottom pieces and praise the Lord I will be done. And thankfully those pieces only need to be cut down the short way. So the width wise, which is going to make my life so much easier. Hey guys, it is all finished i'm so excited to be done with that and i absolutely love the contrast of the white with that wood tone so now i just got to paint this other yellow nastiness so then it'll all look good so that's what i'm going to work on now hopefully that doesn't take me incredibly too long but oh i am so super duper 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 excited it looks so incredibly it just looks so good. I can't wait to see what the TV looks like in there with all this. Much colder, if only you could see. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you came. Don't you know that you're beautiful? No matter what the scars, no matter what they say. Then we'll shout it. So I started painting, but then I realized quickly I needed to tape it off. Now, it would have been smarter to paint before we put that stuff up, but I also didn't want to accidentally get paint where we need to adhere those boards to. So I kind of wanted to do it this way, but I learned super quick that, it, um, that the paint does not come off very easily if you get any on those. So I just taped off just to be safe so i had already started painting over there you can kind of see where i got it a little bit on that but once it dries i'm going to take some cleaner and just scrub that up there and hopefully it'll come off but i'm going to finish edging this up and then i will start to paint down here but already you can tell 
this looks like a totally different entertainment center. I am so excited. This looks this looks so good. Y'all, I'm all done. Look at that. It looks so good. Of course, now I gotta clean up. All that wood came from the inside there. There was a couple um there were a couple pieces on the side from where there were some big doors, which I talked about before in the cabinet painting video. Um, but there were big sliding doors that closed on the front of this. So that's where all of that wood came from. We haven't got rid of it yet. I think maybe my husband's gonna make some kind of shelf, something, I don't know what he's doing. So I'm not getting rid of that, but OMG. How good does this look? I cannot wait for it to completely dry so I can put the TV back up there. I do have to clean off that little the little TV stand. I got some paint on it, but it's easy to come off, so that's not a worry of mine at all. But you guys, scale of one to 10, how much do you love the new entertainment center? Covered in paint, it's all on my shorts and some of that sticky, stay stuff whatever it's called but very successful night all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know there's a knocking noise happening and that's just the dryer my overalls are in there and they're making a whole lot of ruckus so if you enjoyed this please make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below let me know how much you love or don't love the new entertainment center i honestly don't know how you could not love it because i think it is gorgeous i'm so excited I'm mainly just excited to be done with it. But thank y'all for watching and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. Bye. Don't you know that you're beautiful?